Kahoot. So let's give this a try. Um, so our champs again, we're thinking through problem solving. If you need help, ask clarifying questions in the chat. This is what we're going to do. We're going to open a new tab or use your phone. It might be easier if you're just like holding your phone and looking at our screen. But if you want to just open a new tab, you can. You go to quizzes.com slash join and you're going to enter our code. I haven't launched it yet, so you don't have the code. But if you want to get it set up, you can. And you're going to respond to the questions as they appear on the screen. Our movement is we're staying in our Zoom room, no breakout rooms. You're completing all questions and quizzes before time is up. Again, you could ask them to be writing this down. Um, our first quizzes, um, we are, it's very quick. It's nothing that I would really need students to write down, um, but you could use it both ways. You could do it with kind of more mental math, or you could do it with um, something much harder that you would want them to be taking notes and writing down. We can do identifying slope from a from y equals mx plus b in our heads i cannot solve a system of equations in my head i need to write that down so just kind of thinking about what would your students need there our setup um physical we have a clear desk with laptop um, and phone if you're playing on your phone but we don't need paper for this one our tabs would be zoom and quizzes either in a new tab or a phone so again just as an example as how to go through those expectations so i'm gonna go and launch this and bring it over here and just show you how easy it is to launch these if you've never done one. So I have my quizzes created here and I'm going to go to play live and then I'm going to try this team answer. And then there's all sorts of questions. I'm going to do just two teams and kind of have us just like pitted against each other in two teams, but you can do lots of teams. Um, you can also drag and drop students to so that they're always in the same team. But again, that would kind of take a little bit too much time. Um, you can use generated names if you want them to be more anonymous. You can allow these power ups, timers, shuffle questions, all of this. So many options that you have for this team mode. I'm just going to click whatever is there and press continue. So you should be at the quizzes.com slash join or join my quiz.com. And um, here's our code. So I'm going to copy our code into the chat. My, oh, okay, you can share via Google Classroom or Remind. Look at what we're learning. So um, go ahead and enter in. Awesome, we've got Heather. She's on the Erie Elephants team. Lori, Kathleen, Dan, Angela, Karen, Rochelle, Amy, Chris, thank you for joining. Monica. Good. Yes, and Alan adds a good point that um, for like the diploma, like they do have to do a time test, right? So like kind of getting a little bit more used to that activity is um, is needed. All right, we got 11 people in the game. It kind of slowed down. And so you could see here like, oh, I want to move Heather to Soaring Penguins. And so you drag and drop. I want to move Dan to Erie Elephants. So you can drag and drop them into um, different teams if you want to have people together. Awesome, Lionel's getting in there. I'm going to leave it open for about 10 more seconds to see if more of us can join in. Lessie is saying she can't get in. You can go right here, um, joinmyquiz.com or quizzes.com slash join and then that our game code. Um, I'll put it again in the chat, but that's our game code. I think we can get in after I start, but we're gonna start. Okay, all right, so here we go. We're gonna start our game. So you all have your question. And try getting some wrong. Okay, I'm sorry, Lesia. Sorry that we cannot join after it started. We'll, we'll, we're gonna try another one too. So you're completing on your phone or your tab. Check in on my screen. See what it looks like from a facilitator standpoint. Oh, we can see soaring penguins really racking up those points. Come on, eerie elephants. I can see we've gotten 31 correct and five incorrect. Get some wrong. Okay, Alexis can't join, I'm sorry. Sorry if I went too quick with that. You can see, again, kind of learning from, from my mistakes. Um, how much time will this take for students to actually join and all of that, figuring out the tabs. All these things are things to keep track of. Try getting some wrong. See what happens when you get it wrong. I'm not judging you. I'm not like, uh, I'm definitely not, 
you know, keeping track of who's getting what. You can see exactly what I can see. I'm not gonna go through this and check to see if we're getting it wrong. Um, it's, I love that it's telling me what's our class accuracy. Flooring penguins are really pushing ahead. I have the ability to end the game whenever I want. So I can, um, I, if I'm like, okay, we're doing this for five minutes and we want to see how long we can go or how many points we can get, I can choose to end the game whenever I'd like to. But I'll let it go a little bit longer. All right, I'm going to end the game in about 10 seconds. I can also see here which questions we are having the hardest time with. So this is really nice. It has even has this sort by accuracy. Um, and so I can see how we're doing. I want to scroll to the bottom. We're having trouble with that. Almost hard to like see on your screen. And I'm going to end the game. All right. So you can see kind of what this screen is for the students soaring penguins. And we got your names on there. Lori, Angela, Rochelle, Monica, Heather, and Lionel. Awesome. Fantastic. So, and then you can see here um, kind of uh, what it gives me. Um, look, go ahead and just look at the screen and kind of read through this yourself. has a nice overview here. Ooh, it has an email all parents option. That's cool. Like I said, my first time facilitating this. <laughs> Show time taken. You can see how long they were taking. Very cool. So you can kind of um, get a feel here. How did you like this? Let me know in the chat. Did you like this team version of quizzes here? Let us know if you like that, if you think that might be something or if there's a question that you have about that. Rochelle liked it. Awesome. That's good. <laughs> cool. I thought that was fun. I, I even enjoyed that. And I felt like um, I do a lot of cahoots. I'll be honest, like that was comfortable in my own classroom. I just love cahoots. But um, this was actually really cool. Um, I feel like it's much easier to read the data. I struggle with the data reading in Kahoot. I don't know if anyone else struggles with that. But that was very clear and straightforward. So I love that. Um, I do want to, we, you know what, we're doing great on time. And I want to do another one. And I think it could be fun to do one that's like a little bit harder, um, just to see, to get us, like, I'm gonna have to stop us early on it. Um, we can go till 9.53 um, with that. Um, we actually have kind of always already done some of the reflection. We can go till 9.55, so we can do this for about five minutes. This would be one where I would encourage students, um, yeah, had difficulty getting to play. Let's see if we can maybe, um, try this again. Work well on smartphones. I did it on my phone, Karen, when I was practicing <laughs> for today, and it went great. Um, the app, I just used the website, and it was great on my phone. It took over the whole screen. I had a great ex phone experience, so that could be um, helpful. So again, let's get a paper out. Um, you don't actually have to fold it um, for time reasons, but I would encourage students to fold a paper into eight boxes to track how they're doing. Um, systems of equations, right? So this one's going to be a little harder. So how would this feel? if the questions were harder um, and we're only going to do like four questions and system of equations in my opinion need a lot of space I need a lot of space to write those so maybe I'm not labeling every box maybe I'm just going down the side so that um, my students understand okay I need a lot of space for these questions so just an offering um, let me go ahead and launch this one and in your agenda I put a tutorial for how easy it is to find edit um, find, duplicate, and edit uh, quizzes. It took me like three seconds to create this because um, I just found something from someone else and made it just um, three questions instead of like her 10 or something. So you want to play the team mode again or you want to play individual? Let me know in the chat. Team or classic? What do you want to try? Team or classic? Tell me in the chat. This would have been a good poll to get some really fast data. Oh, oh gosh, so difficult. 
Ah, let's try, let's try classic for those of us that haven't um, tried it before. Again, you have um, student attempts, um, you know, we could change that. We get one attempt. Um, oh, okay. Or, oh, you, you, okay, there's all sorts of things here um, to think about. Okay, alrighty, here we go. We're gonna, we got a solid four minutes here. So we got our game code. Type that into the chat for us. Joinmyquiz.com or quizzes.com slash join. They're actually having like a conference right now, a virtual conference, the quizzes conference. Um, so if you really like this, I had all intentions of checking it out, but I think sometimes we feel that way about our schedules is that we wanted to watch this webinar and then it comes to and you're like, absolutely not. I don't have time for this. All right. So Karen's in. Oh, it has, we have to be registered to play. Okay. Maybe because I changed that weird setting. Let me, um, okay. We've got some of us joining. I'm going to end this one. Sorry, guys. Let me try that again and try classic, but let me make this unlimited. Good to know. Look at us learning. Let's try this one. Tell me if this one works. Sorry about that. I know some of us have gotten in. Okay, awesome. Okay, oh good. All right, we learned that we need to have that set to unlimited attempts. Otherwise, students would need to have the account. But you might want them to have an account so that, you know, there's pros and cons with all of that. All right, there's eight of us. Let's see, I'm gonna give us 30 more seconds to get in so that we can try this for a little bit of time. Anyone else trying to join? Ten more seconds. All right, we lost some of us, but we got eight of us in there. <laughs> All right, here's the classic mode, and we only we're I'm gonna have to stop us at two minutes, but we can get a little taste for it. Amy's taking the lead. Heather. Nice. I like this music. It's way more chill than Kahoot. And try getting it wrong. I should have made it anonymous so that we don't feel as awkward. But what happens when you get it wrong? Just so you can experience that because our students are going to get them wrong. So what is that experience like when you get an incorrect answer? Um, just so you, you know what your students will encounter here. experimenting with some different views if you want to check out my screen. Lori's on fire. Oh, Wessie is getting an error. My goodness. Okay. So you can see we're having some tech issues. Angela's on fire. Great. So Lori and Angela, as you guys are finishing up, um, does it give you another question or are you just sitting there like, I don't know what to do? Uh, what's your experience, Lori and Angela, since you guys are, or anyone that's done, are you just sitting there or does it give you some more things to do? Redemption question. Great. So that's really cool because that we always have that awkward dead time, right? And we're like, uh, okay, just sitting. It says find another quiz if you want. Okay. So, and um, the app works, the app is working well. Okay, good. Um, so cool, the stats. So you might want to kind of keep an eye on timing so that people aren't just sitting there and um, losing, losing patience. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this, but wonderful. So you guys can see. Um, how we did there and then have our little award ceremony, which is kind of fun. And then you'll be able to see um, all this cool data that we get. Mastery party, that's kind of cool. Very similar to the other one. Love it. Okay.
going to keep us trucking. So I'm glad we got to experience both of those. That was really cool. And again, you could ask your students to take a picture of your 